Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Today we are in the military academy. I know a lot of you are K36 plus, so you do have the military academy, uh, especially new servers. It, no offense, but it's super easy to get to K35 and then K36 compared to what it used to be uh, over the past five years for older players. To get to K35 was a major milestone <clears throat> and it took people years. It took me, I think it took me about nine or 10 months, uh, right around there. And then when you get there, it takes a long time to get the T14 troops and all that sort of stuff. But now you get to K36, you have to spend a bit of money because you need that gear to make your generals with the power to make victory column anyways. And then you make the military academy. That's where we are now. So I want to go over the smartest way to build in the military academy. Because unless you spend tens of thousands of dollars, you're going to have a problem with tactic scrolls. So, <clears throat> so we'll just uh, look along each branch of the military academy. And I'm going to show you which ones you should concentrate on. So the first level... This is Military Academy 1 area. These will be single item enhancements, right? Or buffs. So it only increases Siege HP 40%. It only increases Siege Defense 40%. If we go over to Archers, exact same thing. Mounted and Ground, exact same thing. So on those, it's only giving you one skill. So I would only increase those to the level you need in order to reach the next level because this will say something like machine defense and galloping machine need to be level eight out of 25 before you can do Sumerian phalanx one the formations so i would do all the minimums on these ones that only increase one buff and then i would master the formations the formations really help uh there's some uh, debate whether it helps on attack and defense so not sure where it says increase ground troop and siege machine attack by six percent i personally believe it helps on both attack and defense i notice a difference on my defense it's sometimes hard to tell because you have subs alive subs dead uh different things going on in battlefield you're changing gear all the time based on if you're attacking, defending. So you don't always get a good report. But some people say it doesn't work and it only works on attack because the second sentence here where it says, and reduce enemy range troop HP by 30% when attacking, there's no comma, there's no period in here. It just goes on one, one long sentence. So some people say all of this is only when attacking. I don't know. Nobody knows. Ebony won't tell us. All I can tell you is that this stuff is important for you to do. Now, if we continue to go along, you're going to see in each level, it's going to say increase ground troop HP when joining an alliance war and increase troop defense 40% when defending. So these are the ones you want to concentrate on. They do both offense and defense. And you could see level two on everybody, every single troop type has that. It does something on offense and then something on defense. So those are more valuable. You're going to get more value out of your tactic scrolls by doing those. And then you get to open up another formation. And then here you're going to get increase something else by joining a war and increase something else on defense. These are actually the best ones because they increase attack on defense as well. And then another formation. And then right here, you're going to get the third increase. This one's attack. So you'll get three different buffs that get enhanced when you join. It will be HP, defense, and attack. And each of them will increase something else on defense. And then right here is where it breaks. And this is Military Academy 2. And then it's going to repeat. So it's going to go Siege Defense. Just like here, it's Siege Defense. But it goes up by higher percentages. And it works the exact same on each wing of the Military Academy. So increase Range Troop Defense. Then we're going to have HP, Defense when joining, 
attack when joining, then it's going to go again to defense, and then you'll get it all over again here. So it just repeats, the military academy repeats on five different levels, but the most important thing to do is the skills that do both offense and defense. And then each one of these, uh, ground troop, mounted troop, range troop, siege troop, all have a different side skill. Something that has nothing to do with PVP and siege is the most valuable one. So siege is gonna have things like training capacity, increase march size, and then rally size, rally capacity. So the siege ones are really important to do these side skills on the left. And if we look at all the other ones, they all have different ones. So range, uh, let's see what it is. So range is, so currently that's reinforcing. Yeah, so range is all reinforcing skills. Yeah, so everything reinforcing on range troop. Uh, you know, kind of not sure if that is as valuable in Ebony right now because they've sort of made it where defense doesn't work even if you're reinforcing each other. So maybe save that one. And then if we look at cavalry, these ones are at monsters. So defense against monsters, HP against monsters, attack against monsters. So unless you're the biggest rallier in your alliance, maybe save those, right? Maybe even you don't have to do them because you could do all of the mounted attack, range attack, ground attack, and that will help PVP and monsters, where monsters only helps monsters. So personally, I would save some of them. I did some of them on lower levels, but at the top, I don't have them down. And then ground troop, it kind of depends on your server. Is your server friendly or not? Because ground is all about Holy Palace and hospital levels. So if we look here, increase death into troop soul. Uh, so that's a dual purpose one over here. Hospital capacity, uh, Holy Palace. And it just continues to repeat all the way. So that's basically what the Military Academy is. Uh, it just repeats itself. You're going to get a single skill. Then you're going to get joining skills that also help on defense. And it's going to go five times. And obviously, the higher you get on the Military Academy, it's going to go up in higher percentages than the early levels. But it's going to cost a lot more in days too. So do the early levels first. Because if you look at the highest level of the Military Academy, you're going to see things like four, 500 days needed just for one level to get 4%, 5%. And if you're at the early levels, you can do them in 20, 30 days sometimes. So it's worth it to do the earlier ones first and do the PVP ones, I suggest. Do the dual purpose ones. Avoid the Holy Palace, the hospital if you can. Avoid the monster attack. Avoid the reinforcing on range, siege, March size is very important. Rally capacity may not be important for you, so you might not have to do it if you're not the biggest guy in your alliance or if you're on a new server and you guys don't rally a lot. And that's basically it. Uh, let me know your strategy in the Military Academy. That's how I went through it. And that's how I got to Military Academy 5 and still had tactic scrolls to do some important stuff. But now I'm in the area where I'm backtracking and I'm doing a lot of stuff I missed. But uh, I would advise doing your big ones, you know, your ground defense, horse HP, siege attack for defense, and then your archer attack, mounted attack, all the ones that you personally use a lot on your account. Genghis Server 68, like, subscribe, leave a comment.